Welcome to a, a video blog by Ozen Engineering. My name is Mark Berkman and uh, this is the uh, third video uh, in this series uh, talking about this conjugate heat transfer model in ANSYS Discovery. Uh, so in the previous videos uh, we talked about uh, building an electronics cooling problem uh, where we have this uh, chassis which uh, has air going in and out uh, from left to right and it's cooling a simple system uh, with a board, uh, a little die on top of it which generates heat and a large heat sink, heat sink to uh, move away the heat and into the environment. Uh, so in the previous videos we have uh, you know set up the model we set up the boundary conditions as you can see here and then uh, we ran the model in the explore mode and in the refine mode we talked about the differences and uh, now what I want to do is uh, talk about two new great features uh, in ANSYS Discovery's latest version 2024 R1. The first one uh, I want to talk about is surface to surface radiation capability. Uh, that is not a beta, beta future anymore. It's uh, embedded and uh, users can use it. And I'm going to show uh, how to uh, use it for this example problem. You know, for this problem, the way it is, uh, we only have convection and conduction mode for heat transfer. You'll notice this little sign here, it's, it says include external radiation. That is only for the uh, outer ex external surface and it's as a boundary condition. This does not mean that uh, we have radiation solved inside the enclosure. So uh, please keep that in mind. So the way to uh, introduce surface to surface radiation is by clicking on the uh, fluid solid interfaces. Now what you can see is the fluid surface interfaces kind of painted in blue and what you notice here is if we go to these three surface pairs essentially one between air volume and the heat sink second air volume and the die and the third interface is between the board and the air volume. So we go there and what we want to do is click this button here include internal radiation. Now that we turn it on let's hit escape and then uh, what we can do is it's turned on and we can essentially start the simulation again. Please note that uh, in the previous simulation, we saw uh, the peak temperature at 178 degrees centigrade. And uh, obviously by adding this uh, new uh, heat transfer mode, namely surface to surface radiation, the peak temperature should come down because now there's more, there's another pathway to move the heat from hot to cold regions. So welcome back, the uh, radiation model ran uh, took a little longer than the uh, model without the radiation, uh, you know, may maybe five minutes versus ten minutes. Uh, wh what we do see is that the peak temperature is now reduced to 160 degrees C rather than 173 as we were expecting. Uh, so uh, we call this, uh, you know, run a success and uh, have a good day.